Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Connor Terrio, and I'm a BIM technical consultant here at Gray Tech. In today's short Revit tip, we'll be going over the workflow on how to create automatic layouts in Revit MEP. I've got a VAV set up, some air terminals, and we'll be discussing how to use this generate layout tool in HVAC systems. It should be noted that this feature and workflow can be applied to plumbing and piping systems as well. As always, if you have any questions or comments on the video you're, or tip and trick you're about to see, uh, there will be a LinkedIn link at the end of this video. You can reach out to me directly there uh, with any questions and comments. Without further ado, let's jump into Revit. Okay, so now that we're in Revit here, I just got a general project open here with the out-of-the-box systems template from Autodesk. Uh, I've gone in and I've placed a VAV unit in here along with some air terminals, some supply diffusers and some return diffusers here. We're going to generate a layout um, for these supply diffusers. So it's a very quick way to kind of give you an initial layout here. Um, this tool is a little bit tricky at first though. So we'll break down some of the different things you'll see on the interface once we activate this feature um, and how to kind of navigate this tool. So uh, the first thing we got to do is create a system. So a lot of the questions I get is, where is this tool located on the interface? And you're not going to see it right now, um, not until you actually go through and create an HVAC system. So I can even go through, I can select my air terminals here. I can select my VAV as well, holding control. We can select multiple. And, you know, I don't see a generate layout tool anywhere on my interface, systems tab, modify panel. Uh, you can't find it. So you got to select these elements first. Come up to the ribbon under modify, go to create system. We're going to create a duct system, mechanical system first. We're going to call it supply air. Grab the connector that you'd like, press OK. And now you see a green dash box around everything that is um, highlighted uh, that is part of that system. Now back up in the ribbon under the modify tab, we can see that generate layout um, tool has now appeared. So we, we can now go through and generate a layout and Revit will kind of put in the ductwork for us. If I need to add elements to this layout, you can see as soon as I, I add these elements to a system, they change color, right? So now they're blue. Blue represents your supply air. So uh, we can hover and press tab over these elements. Um, and that will allow you to select the system. You can see here in the properties, we've got a duct system supply air selected. Um, and we can go through and we can edit this system. So we can now add the other air terminals that I'd like to add to this system. And add to system. We can also remove elements from a system. I'm going to add those other air terminals to that system. Perfect. Now to activate that generate layout tool we've got to come in we've got to select our system come up to generate layout okay now when i come to generate layout you can see my interface change again right so anytime my interface changes it means we usually got to go to those areas that are highlighted so our ribbon is now changed to a blue color um, and we've got some new tools up across the top i'm going to walk you through each one of these in our in our options bar here we've got a solution type we can cycle through these different types of solutions, network, perimeter, or intersections. And you can see my suggested layout is adjusting and changing. Now, we don't want to see any yellow lines. These yellow lines typically indicate an error or um, an issue in the layout. So we want to see all blue lines and green lines. These will indicate our branches in our main trunk. So you can see we can cycle through the different solution types here, intersections, perimeters, network. And then we've got a couple of arrows here with a, ser a number of suggestions that we can also cycle through on based on the solution type. So I'm going to go with a perimeter layout potentially here. Actually, we'll go with the network. Let's go with the network. I kind of like... Um, Go with this one. I kind of like this layout here. Once you get a layout that you like, you need to come here to settings. Again, still in the options bar, we're looking under settings. You drag this across. Uh, this will allow you to confirm 
the duct tape and the offset from the level uh, for the main and the branches. Okay, so if we come in here, we change. We can change the duct type for our main. We can change the offset. I know my middle elevation here for my VAV is, I believe I set it to 3750. So I'm going to make everything 3750. The offset 3750 from level. I'm going to press OK. So let's take a look at this in 3D. We can change our views while uh, we have this tool active. So I'm just going to jump back to settings here, and I'm going to show you what we just did by changing this offset. If we change this back to, what was this, 2700 maybe? Press OK. Now you can see it adjusting, right? So now we've got those yellow lines again. I don't want to see those yellow lines. You want green or blue, right? So we can come in and we can see this changing in 3D as well. So 3750. Press OK. There we go. And it's looking a little bit better. That's what you'll find in the options bar. We've still got some tools here in the ribbon. We've got an edit layout option. Right now we're under solutions. So these are suggested solutions that you can cycle through here in the options bar. If we go to edit layout, I'm going to flip back to my, my floor plan here. If we're under edit layout, we can come in and we can select each of these, whether it's a main or a branch. And we can see a little move symbol, so we can shift that down. We can move that down if we want to. And we can adjust our layout a bit. I actually like what they suggested. Revit suggested. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm just going to press undo there. But some different symbols that you might notice if you're in under this edit layout option is you can see we've got a little symbol here. This is just identifying that there's a T there. Obviously, we've got different grips here as well. So if you wanted this one to come in at an angle, you could just grab the grip to do so. Change that. And we can select um, edit, add or remove from system. Two, two tools here. This will add or remove an element from the system. So, for example, if we didn't want this air terminal part of this light layout, we could come in, we could remove that from the system. And we're going to leave it. We're going to add that to the system. Go back to Solutions, Network, and I'm going to keep it at this one here. I like this network layout. Uh, what, what you, another tool you might notice is something called Place Base. Now, um, if you're working on a larger layout, generate layout here, uh, you can place a base so that you can have an open end uh, so that you can then add more to your layout. So you don't need to do the massive layout all at once. You can place a base and you can connect this generate layout which you've got here on screen. We can go through, we can place a base somewhere over here and that will also get added to the system. And again, you've got to select the shape, whether it's going to be round or rectangular, and then give it a size here. And so for right now, we're just going to go remove base. We're not going to place a base for this layout. We're just going to generate a layout for the supply air terminals that we've got on screen here. We're going to just confirm again under settings. Press OK. And then we're going to click on finish and see what happens. All right, so no errors. It is a little bit touchy, so you know a lot of the time I recommend just going through modeling it on your own, probably the most accurate. But this tool does give you a kind of a good starting point. So you can come in. Now you can come in and you can move things around if you need. But that is essentially your generate layout tool. So again, you can do this on a single level. Uh, you can also do this on multi-levels. Um, and kind of work your way through your layout, give yourself a starting point. And you can obviously come in, you can flip these fittings, you can shift these down. Maybe you didn't need that one all the way over. You, know, you probably could have done this in the generate layout, but you can also do it afterwards, right? So you can do some manipulating afterwards. For example, we're going to need to get in here and have access to our return diffusers as well. 
So we work kind of directly over top, shift them over, now you got space there. Um, now you could go through, you could do the exact same thing for your return uh, diffusers, generate a layout, and then kind of manipulate things afterwards. And most important thing is just remembering you've got to create the system first in order to have access to that generate layout tool. That's all I've got for you guys for today on this generate layout feature. Uh, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me on the next slide. Uh, my LinkedIn account is posted there. Um, other than that, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.